Today, we're going to talk about overcoming resistance. I'm going to be giving you two tips. The first is simply a mindset. It's the mindset of sharing information. Now, people are really going to have one of two primary mindsets when doing this business. The first is the mindset of selling. You know, other people really sense and feel that selling agenda. The natural reaction to being sold, well, it's to resist. The second mindset is simply the desire to educate the person you're talking with and lose your investment in whether or not they say yes or no. As you maintain an open mind and you see your job as just educating others about the products, the opportunity, and the options, it's going to make it easier for them to have an open mind as well. The most difficult challenge you'll face in this business, or any business for that matter, is to get in front of others and have an opportunity to show them what you're doing so that they can make an educated decision. We all encounter some resistance no matter how good we are. So let's look at some ways to overcome that resistance. So what do I mean by resistance? Think about walking onto a car lot to buy a car. Remember the feeling of anxiety when the sales guy comes up to you? It's likely that they started the conversation, it's what salespeople do, and they said something like, can I help you? You probably responded, no, I'm just looking. Even when you wanted something more than that, it's natural to resist. So let's look at the resistance you might encounter. As you approach someone, maybe they say, I don't have time to do that, or I'm not very good at selling, or I've tried doing one of those home-based businesses before. Maybe someone said to you, is it one of those MLM pyramid things? You can probably think of a lot of things someone might say, but I'll bet you more often than not, you get one of those four things. I'm too busy, I don't like to sell, I've done one of those before, or it's not one of those pyramid MLM things, is it? What I'm going to teach you now is a technique that you can apply to almost any resistance, but let's apply it to one of those four things. Let's say you called your friend up and you were really excited and asked them if you could chat with them about LifeVantage, and they said, yeah, I'm not like you, Steve, I don't like to sell. Now, you could try to convince them that they would be the greatest salesperson in the world, but then you'd be in an adversarial role with them. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're probably not going to win that one. So instead, why don't you just acknowledge their concern? I totally understand why you feel that way, Sally, but I'll tell you what. Why don't we just sit down for a few minutes so I can show you what I'm doing with LifeVantage, and if you still feel like you'd have to be selling, then just don't do it. Is that fair enough? But you know, I'm really excited and I'd love to show you what I'm doing anyway. And even if it ends up being something you're not interested in, maybe you'll know someone who could be perfect for me to talk to and I could really use any help I could get. How does that sound? Who's going to say no to that? You see, it's almost like you gave Sally permission to say no to you after she looked at what you're doing. Or what if someone said, ah, I'm just crazy busy at work right now. I've got all this stuff with the kids. I might say, I totally get it. It seems like everyone is so crazy busy these days. And you know, maybe this isn't for you, but I'd like to get with you for just a few minutes and bounce the highlights off of you. And if you still think you're too busy to team up with me, then just don't do it. Is that fair enough? But you know, I'm really excited, and even if it's not for you, maybe you'll know someone who'd be perfect for me to talk to, and, and I could really use the help. Now let's say somebody says, I've done one of those things before, and it I did not do so good. I ended up losing money. Now you're certainly not going to win that argument. So you might say, Bob, I totally understand. I, I didn't know you had that experience before. But I'll tell you what, it's no big deal to me, but why don't we sit down for a few minutes so I can show you what I'm doing with LifeVantage. And if you feel the least bit uncomfortable or that this is anything like one of those other things you've tried, then, then don't do it. But you know, I'm excited and, and even if this is not for you, Maybe you'll know someone who would be perfect for me to talk to and I could use all the help I can get. You see, you can use this in any situation. You're really saying to people that it's okay to say no, but after you share the information with them. Some people still may not be interested, but lots of them will.